everybody, my name is Star Raptor, and welcome to the channel. Today I will be reviewing Once Upon a Deadpool. It's a PG-13 rated version of Deadpool 2. So this review is going to work a little bit differently than normally for my reviews. I'm not going to be talking about the plot or the characters at all because I already have done that in my review previously. Instead, I'm going to be talking about what the transition is like for a Deadpool movie to go from rated R to PG-13 for the first time. So the framework of this story is all around Deadpool invading Fred Savage, putting him in a room of similar, almost exact replication of what he was in for the Princess Bride movie back in the 80s. We have the character or the actor of Fred Savage even in the same clothes as he was in when he was getting the story read to him in The Princess Bride. Everything in the background is exactly the same and he is taped there against his will and, and, and strapped down to the bed for Deadpool to read of this story, which is just hilarious because we have these um, moments where we go back and forth with Deadpool and Fred Savage throughout the retelling of Deadpool 2. And there's lots of things added to this version of Deadpool 2. There's some things taken out that are a little bit too violent. You won't see any blood. You won't see a lot of, of the carnage you see in Deadpool 2. And they obviously had to refilm or reshoot a lot of Deadpool 2, which I thought was extraordinary because there were so many um, different pieces of dialogue in this movie, which I wasn't expecting. Um, it's just, it's cool how we get a commentary on a film that Deadpool was already in. He, like, he's basically fourth wall breaking himself by telling Fred Savage a story about himself, which is hilarious because it's kind of like intercut with him narrating parts of the story. So this, to me, really worked well. I didn't come out of the theater thinking like, oh, I needed this to be rated R. And it's worth saying that I don't think this would have worked quite as well if they would have just released this as the version of P uh, Deadpool 2 that they wanted as PG-13. It works so much better because we already know what happens in the rated R version, so they kind of make fun of themselves in a way, or at least poke fun at it for saying you know different things about the rated R version. Um, and it's just you know knowing how Deadpool is now as a character, about how he's so well suited for different moments of uh, comedic, uh, different things there, and and now we see it in PG-13. Um, and I didn't really miss him cursing all that much, to be honest with you. And I think this is almost like a proving ground to see if it works with audiences. Maybe in the future, since Disney's buying them out, and they even make a joke about Disney, of course, in this movie, um, that, you know, I think he could fit possibly as, a, you know, not a, a whole Avengers movie, maybe have a cameo or something and be like, okay, I have to keep my mouth shut from the F word or something. But other than that, I think it worked out pretty well. I was very surprised by the additional scenes. I really enjoyed uh, the whole setup with Fred Savage and the Princess Bride. I thought that was brilliant for how they did that as well. Um, I think it comes down to the bottom line of what I recommend this. Um, yeah, I would recommend this for sure. If you are a fan of Deadpool, you're going to get a lot more than I expected out of this. There's, like I said, there's blurred images. There's lots of, you know, poking fun at itself. Lots of bleeping, but used in a great way and different ways of dialogue. And it's just all around a good time. I would definitely recommend Once Upon a Deadpool. I think they did a successful thing in making a PG-13 Deadpool movie, which I didn't think would work, and well, they pulled it off. So what do you guys think of Once Upon a Deadpool? How do you feel about a rated PG-13 Deadpool versus rated R? Let's talk about it all in the comment section below. Guys, if you are new to the channel, welcome. I have plenty of other movie reviews. It's busy time of the year, December 2018. Lots of movies coming out. If you want to stay up to speed on all of those, please subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. I also talk a bit about games as well as Star Wars if you enjoy that as well. My name is Star Raptor. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.